Hey guys, you're watching the one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Warzone. Today, I want to do a little bit of a change, specifically to the church. When I built it, I never liked it. And I think you guys had the same sort of feeling, like it was acceptable. I know we done the roof wrong, but we covered that up quite well by blowing it up. Um, but the, the church itself... It does. It doesn't stand out enough. I. It's so close to being something that I like, and at the moment, it's just not. It. It. There's something wrong with it, and I've left it a few episodes to see if it will grow on me, like other stuff does. You know, stuff always grows on you after a little while. If you don't quite like it, you leave it. You let it sort of mellow, and then sometimes you go. Actually, I do really like that. So uh, I left it for a little, uh, a few episodes, but I still, I'm not quite happy with it. Oops, I'm so close to being happy with it, but just not yet. So I want to add some bits to the church to sort of bulk it out a little bit, make it a little bit more, yeah, <laughs> make it a little bit more of something. And at the moment, it's just nothing, and I, I don't like it. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to add another section on both sides. It shouldn't really be th as that hard to do these upgrades, if you like. Uh, it's just going to require a little bit of getting rid of some debris first. Uh, but yeah, it shouldn't it shouldn't be that difficult. We don't need to come that far out. Um, I'm thinking probably somewhere around this far out. We might have to fill in a little bit of a crater there. Or we might leave the crater there and take a hole out of the wall. But off this cobblestone here, or maybe one inside of this cobblestone i'm going to leave the windows there for the moment I'll take them out at the end we're going to put in a little andesite section but using the same blocks as the wall but using a little andesite section here to come out that might be enough that might be all we need just four blocks out from it and the same on this side i'm going to come out here one two three four blocks and then do this sort of similar pan that we have going down on the main side so we're going to put these down here Put a cobblestone like pattern there and the same on this side and then see if we've got any space to put windows in down here so we definitely want and a site there and and a site there because that's where like it was before then a three wide window which would be there and there leaving us a three wide window in the middle I think that should go quite well. I think that should go quite well. Now, this one doesn't have to be anywhere near as tall. I think what we're going to do is let's have a test at this height first. That looks pretty good. And then I reckon we can use slabs. Instead of stairs, we can use slabs to go up. So that, that looks pretty good for the moment. Let's fill this in like this and like this. And then the wall that's left there, the old wall with the windows, that will be removed. And that will be missing. It will give more room on the interior. And on the exterior. It will just look better. It will look more like a complete build. Uh, than a sort of half job. That I'm at least getting the impression of. It being at the moment. It, it looks sort of half there. But anyway. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing well. I am feeling fantastic today. And I don't really know why. You know when you just wake up some mornings? I When I first woke up, I was really tired and I thought, oh, I just want like another four hours or something in bed. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like I really just want to sleep. So I got up. I thought, no, no, no. I'm gonna get, I, I need to get up. I need to get up. So I got up and I jumped in the shower and it all clicked. I thought, what, what are we going to record today? What do I need to record today? And I looked through um, the list of videos that I need to, to get done. And uh, I was like, ah, no, I've got some ideas for these. So uh, I'm in a really, really good mood at the moment. I'm, uh, I'm absolutely loving it. I think this is going to come high enough. Oh, yeah. Do I like it having just a slit of the cobblestone? Or would I prefer having a little bit more cobblestone? By maybe having this go up every two blocks. Let's try that. So it could go up every two blocks like that. Yeah, I think I pref I think I'd prefer that, but starting with that, then every two blocks. Um yeah. Yeah, no, I like that. I like that. Then we can remove these ones here. 
along there like this. Oh, um, those ones could stay, actually. But then these ones are full cobblestone blocks now. Like that. That can stay. I might add another one there. Yeah, I like that one. And then we need to add cobblestone here as well in these gaps. Beautiful. Now finish off the wooden part. So it was two blocks, but one block on the first one. I think that's a really nice sort of uh, gradient then. Pop these along this side. And down this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, I had the pattern of tapping the right button and then clicking. <laughs> it's a hard pattern to do on PC. It's definitely easier on console to place a line of blocks because you go... On console, you, you move at the same speed as what you can place. Blocks on PC, you seem to back up faster than what you can place. Really weird. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot, a lot better. Look how much more it's added to the church. What we could do is we could do the same on the other side. I think that's really, really going to help. Let's grab some glass and put this glass in here. Of course, we'll do a little bit of kabloding at the end to uh, get the uh, the blown up look. I was thinking about something funny, though. How? What do you guys think about this as a... Well, not a joke, but as a, a, a point of interest, I was thinking about adding a, or, or making, a black and white texture pack. Now, at first, you think, ugh, a black and white texture pack. But, hold on. Imagine, just imagine for a minute, this is a war. This is meant to be an old war. It's not, it's no specific war. It's not World War Two. It's not World War One. It's a, it's just a war. And, um... We're imagining, you know, with the tanks and this sort of airport style and this plane design that we wouldn't have colour TVs. So I was thinking about making a black and white texture pack. And the more I think about it, the more I sort of like the idea. Did I have this still on the side? The more I sort of like the idea of just a black. So all the blocks, they all have the same texture as what they currently have. But instead of being colourful, they're actually black and white. I don't know how it would look. In my head, it looks pretty interesting. Like like when you imagine it in your head. I don't know what it will be like when it comes to seeing it. There is something that I can do though. I can I can do a sort of test to see if I would like it or not. By actually, after I've recorded this video, when it comes to editing... I think I can turn my video black and white, like the clip itself. So while you're watching it now, it'll be in black and white. Not yet. I'll change it in a minute. But for me, it'll still be in colour. So let me let me back off for a moment. And this is going to be a test. It might not work. So if it stays in colour for you guys watching this, it didn't work. But um, for me, if, if it does work, for me, it's still in colour. So I'm going to change it to black and white now. And I have no idea what this looks like. I'm imagining it should look like an old film. I would like it to look like an old film. Or at least sort of black and white and you can, you know, tell. But I would, I would think it would look pretty interesting. I'm really interested in finding out now because, again, for me, everything's normal colour. Anyway, I'll switch it back. And, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how well that worked. I don't know. But that'll be a test. And if it did look pretty cool... Uh, I might make a black and white texture pack just for a laugh, just to see. I don't know how easy it would be to do a black and white texture pack. It might take a really long time to make them all black and white. Like, I wouldn't have to put that much effort into it. I'd just make them black and white, change, like, the contrast, the colour to them to nil. But I'd have to do that with every block. So, I don't know, maybe the editing way of doing it is a lot easier and quicker. Who knows? Okay, so when that goes up there, that goes up there, we had that one there, that one, uh, no, there and there, that one, there, there, and there. Pillar comes up here. I might put some cobblestone walls in somewhere as well. I feel like that's sort of a missing aspect of it. Uh, that one, that one, that one. And... Is that meant to be a block up? 
Oh, I did. <laughs> I missed it on this side too. Oh yeah, uh, I'll have to fill it in like this. And that one can be a fill block. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, would a stair look even better though? I think I like that more. That one in there, that one in there. Take this one out, put a stair there instead. Yeah, it's like a little dinkly. You can imagine that being um, maybe engraved with something in real life. In real life. I hate using that word. I hate it when anybody uses that word. When they're talking about a game and then they go, in real life. It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're playing a game because we don't want to be in real life at the moment. We want to be in a fantasy world. Why would you say real life? And then I just done it. <laughs> the other one, uh, this might this might just be me, right? Uh, but pretty recently, the clocks went. What was it? Back or forward? I can never remember which one it is. I always I always struggle. Um, but when the clocks go back an hour, I assume that it happens in every country. Does it happen in the states? Probably. In the, if it doesn't, or if you're in a country that it doesn't, in the United Kingdom, twice a year, we have to change, oh, hiccups, change the clocks. Um, basically, what we have to do is, uh, once we have to put the clock forwards by an hour, so instead of 12 o'clock, oops, uh, uh, instead of 12 o'clock, it's uh, 1 o'clock, and then later on in the year, we have to change it back. So instead of 1 o'clock, it then goes back to 12 o'clock. Now, there's a lot of rumors to why exactly it was. It, it, we do that. Um, some people say that it's for the schools. So uh, pupils, you know, school people weren't walking to school at night. Because obviously if you put the clocks forward, the sun rises an hour earlier. So you don't have to walk to school in the dark. But I think that was proven to be incorrect uh, reasoning. Uh, some people said it was for the milkman, which was incorrect. I don't think the, the world cares so much about the milkman delivering milk in daylight that they would change the entire time system for it. Um, some people said it was to do, do with the war. I think that was incorrect. I think the correct reason behind it was proven to be um i did have it it was literally on the end of my time no don't for don't forget it now aj the i've built up all the suspense for it um hold on it was literally right here and it's just the brain fart has happened They put the clocks back. Be ah, yes. Farmers. That's it. Because of farmers. Um, something to do with the cows. Um, or the or, or herding sheep. Milking cows or, or herding sheep. Something along those lines was the reason behind it. And to be fair, it makes a lot of sense. It's a very important part of um, the culture, you know, to be able to have... Um, uh, important to the farmers, if you like, to be able to have uh, daytime in order to get all of their stuff done. So, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting one. I don't know how much actual truth behind that is. Uh, it's just the sort of most accepted reason. Maybe you guys know a little bit more um, uh, about it, but that's what I gather it was for, at least, anyway. So, anyway, I've added the other one on the other side. Now we're going to add another peak one. Over here, like this, nice and small ones, so we can do them together. Uh, 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 uh. I don't need to put that one there. I you, I should put one there, but I'm gonna blow it up anyway. So what's the point of having the oops the occasional missing one? I just grabbed 64 saplings, <laughs> and I have no idea why. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about it that quick. Wow. I don't know. It's my first video recording today, so maybe I've maybe my brain's a little bit asleep or something like that. Okay, and then put these ones in <clears throat> upside down. Can I put a little glass window in? I can. Little glass window in there. That would be the new doorway, so maybe get some dark oak. We can do it closed, I think. At least one of these doors closed. Just by putting the wood back here instead. A little closed one. Uh, maybe a little wooden button. 
in the middle there. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cute, doesn't it? That looks pretty cute. Put that one there. Okay, beautiful. See how much, see, look how much that looks more like a church. So much better. I also want to add some more stuff in here. I don't think that's quite tall enough, strangely enough. Um, but I don't really want to add any more to it. I do think, however, that we should put in... I'm going to rebuild a little bit of this wall back. Because I think it would be better to have some uh, windows in here. Maybe not that high. Yeah, some windows like that. I can uh, leave some of the glass missing, though, out of, this, out of these ones. Something like that. I think that looks a little bit better. I might put a little slab as well of cobblestone. Have I got any slabs of cobblestone? I don't think I do. Slab. Of cobblestone going along this block here. I might do just around there leave the front and then come down oops here and then fix up this side to have windows in as well that one and this one so so <laughs> i'm strangely enough repairing the building to put windows in but i think it looks so much better okay we can do a few less windows on that one it's been blown up a little bit more there we go so how does that, I know we're missing the uh, the build the room on this side on the other side, but doesn't that look so much more complete? It looks like a, a lot more is being built there, uh, a little bit more interesting looking church. I'm happy with it. I'm very very happy with it. I'll do the other one off camera uh, on the other side. In fact, I'll do that and I should be back. Okay. Okay. So I've just taken away the walls on the inside here. I'm just sort of changing up uh, the uh, the floor now to match in nicely. And I think it looks. I'm so so pleased. Uh, I'm 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 very very chuffed on on how it now looks. Look at the inside here. It looks so much more grand now. On the inside, we've got this sort of larger entranceway. We've got these sparse parts on the side that would originally have had nice uh, plants going up it and pictures and book signings and all that kind of stuff that churches do there. And now from the outside, it just looks like a little bit thicker, a little bit more chunkier. Very, very pleased. Very, very chuffed. Much more church-like. Okay, so we want to have uh, a sort of hedgerow going around this part. I want this side to be where the graveyard would have been. Uh, so we're going to want to have some leaf blocks around here. And I can't use the world edit to put down the leaves. There's a, uh, a big flaw in that plan, uh, gravel. By using leaves... Um, using world edit, they don't they 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 don't stay. They actually go away, uh, like uh, when you destroy a tree, um, and the leaves disappear. It does that with world edit. If you place them by hand, um, like we always do, then they they stay. They it's like the game knows that you've placed them yourself. Uh, but by using world edit, it just it just they just go away. I don't really know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so we want to have this probably two or three blocks high. Two blocks high sounds pretty good. So we want to have a nice hedge going around here. I might do three blocks high in some sections. Like it's um, not quite being kept 100% like perfectly and it's sort of overgrown a little bit. That could look pretty nice. I just picked up an egg. I always see eggs, but I never see the chickens. Oh, that, no, that's a chicken. That's a sheep. There you go. <laughs> hey, you always find eggs, but you never know who laid them, do you? The only thing that was near me was a pig, and I don't think it was him. <laughs> I, I always wondered, what would it be like if every animal, if every animal, uh, started life as an egg? So not just chickens and ducks and birds and reptiles. What if all animals came from eggs? So, like, you would have pig eggs. You know, we've got pig eggs in Minecraft. But, I mean, in real life, I hate using that word. What if they all came from eggs and you had to, like, incubate pigs? <laughs> it would just be so brilliant to incubate pig eggs. Imagine this. It would be like an egg like that big, wouldn't it? Or elephant eggs. You know, and you're just wandering through the world. You can, you know, dog eggs and cat eggs. It, I don't know. It would, it would just be brilliant, mind you. Then you would have like, 
if everything came from eggs, instead of just having, like, omelettes made from, like, chicken eggs and stuff, you'd have, like, pig omelette. And, and, and cow omelette. Imagine the size of a cow. A cow egg would be huge. <laughs> oh, it would be brilliant, though. Just imagine it. Oh, I've gone a little bit too far. I got a little bit carried away with my pig eggs. Oh, damn. I think this one, I'm just going to use a fence instead. Change it up a little bit. Dark fence. I think so, like a dark oak or something like that. Would look really nice. <laughs> it would be, it would just be f absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that goes to there. I think that looks beautiful. I think that looks absolutely beautiful. Now, I want an entrance through this way. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to add just some, like, three high sections around the place. Some of them um, two blocks in length, some of them three blocks, some of them four blocks in length. I don't like doing one block in length. So if you just do, like, a one like that, it just looks like you've misplaced. But two or three or four, I think, is a, is a pretty good number. So... Something like this. Yeah, see how it just adds that little bit of, of shape to it, the little bit of wiggle, Im imperfection to it. It's not quite like a dead straight line. If you're doing a, a really high-end uh, mansion, you would probably want perfectly pruned bushes, but not for a little one like this. Okay, beautiful. That looks really nice. Little path going through, maybe. With some gravel. I lost my gravel again. Little path going through with some gravel. Ah, uh, oh, I forgot about that. I don't know what the easiest way to it for it to be. Um, let's put that back. I'll go over from here to there. Replace, yeah, replace grass with uh, gravel and. Grass. Is that how I do it? I had it the other day, didn't I? There we go. Perfect. And then just keep hitting this and that'll slowly fill up. Oh, apart from it fills up. No, okay. Undo. Ten. Replace grass with gravel. But now we do replace air with grass and gravel. Replace air with gravel. And it should, apart from where the crater is, just slowly fill up that hole all the way into the water. I don't know how deep it is. Oh, oh, I see some of it filling up. Still a lot quicker than placing them all by hand. Uh, oh, it looks like it'd be about there. Now what we can do is take out some of these. I actually like the gravel being in the hole because it would still be in there even if it was blown up. It would have sort of fell down, wouldn't it? Yeah, like that. Little path going through. We'd have like a little uh, graveyard or something in there. I could join the path up here as well, couldn't I, really? We'll go from there to here. Keep it three blocks wide. Boop. Beautiful. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. I think the church looks so much better than what it did at the beginning. And having this sort of area around is nice. We might add some little tombstones and stuff like that at a later date. But that... It started to really become like a little living village, isn't it? If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.